The name of this story is What's That Howling? A Dog Man Story. There was this summer. We went to stay in the country where the family had two nice cabins. That was located on a hilly road and in miles and miles of wood. And there was a beautiful lake behind the cabins. There were all sorts of wildlife out over these thick woods, and we hadn't been to the cabins in about two years. We were about an hour and a half away from the main road. It was six of us, three females and three males. It was Maya, May, and B, and Mark, Carrie, and Lonzo. And they had no idea that someone was there. There wasn't they wasn't in the cabins because they all got out and checked in. And all the guys was armed with a gun each. They didn't know who called this could be and how they got through the locked gate without a key. Like they just used. So they all proceeded to the back of the cabin. And they didn't see anyone, but they could hear someone. And they was laughing and screaming and splashing water. And it sounded like girls. And it was. Three of them. And they was in the lake swimming with hardly any clothes on. When the guys seen them, their eyes took in everything. And the girls got furious. And they asked these females, how did they get in? And how did they open the lock on the gate? And the girls told them that John had let them in, and he said that they could swim as long as they wanted to. John was a good friend of theirs, and seeing that he had made a copy of the key to the gate, he wanted to come, but they they all had had a falling out with John for trying to talk to be behind Mark's back. And now he had let these females in, and was nowhere to be seen, trying to get back at them. So they told them that they didn't supposed to be there, and it was just supposed to be them there alone. And the females told them to put their clothes on and leave. So they got their clothes on and said that they were sorry and said their goodbyes. And when they left, the girls was a little upset. So they all went to the cabin, and they was still locked. Good. John had made a key to them. Now, each cabin had three bedrooms, and they was trying to see which one they wanted to stay in for the time that they would be there. So they decided that they would stay in the one on the right because the one on the left had the lake behind it. They went to get settled in and they cooked something to eat. And they ate. As they sat around and talked after they ate, then they took an evening stroll through the woods. And as they were just enjoying their walk, they heard something a short distance away, walking at a short pace and keeping out of sight. So they said it was time to turn back. And they didn't know which way the sound was coming from. So they carefully made their way back to the cabin and they still could hear the footsteps somewhere behind them. And whatever or whoever this was was walking on two feet. But they still didn't didn't see not a thing. Even when they try to look to where the noise was coming from. They went in and locked all the doors and checked all the windows and made sure they was locked also. And they were sitting around trying to figure out what that could have been because it sounded really large and it was walking on two feet. A while passed and they was getting ready to turn in for the night and they heard something howling behind the cabin by the lake. They all came in the living room 
from their bedroom asking each other what was that. And no one had a clue. But they knew the sound was coming from the lake. So they put it on a coyote. Or a wolf or something. So they went back to bed. They got up the next morning planning to fish for a few hours. Then do some swimming after breakfast. And when they got to the lake, they saw large canine footprints around the lake. And they said they never seen anything like them before. So they started their fishing that morning. And all was going good. And they had caught lots of fish. Now they had enough for the day. And they packed up their fishing gear and took the fish to the cabin, cleaned them for their dinner. And then they went back to the lake to swim. They were all having fun in the water until they heard that howl again. They looked for the source of the sound, and there across the lake stood what looked like a large dog. And it was standing on its hind legs, staring at them. They all yelled, what the hell is that? And they all got out the water and started back to the cabin. And this huge, nine-feet-tall creature just stared at them. This time, when they got in the cabin, they went to the windows looking to see did it follow them. But they didn't see it anywhere. They all said, we got to get out of here. And as they were saying that, there was another howl, and it was closer to the cabin, real close. Then suddenly there was a big bang on the back door. Like someone was trying to knock it down. So Mark, Carrie, and Lonzo got their guns. And while this was going on at the back, they prayed that there was nothing at the front door. They opened the door, and there wasn't anything anything there so they started shooting out in the woods and the banging stopped and then they heard something crashing through the woods and they waited until they couldn't hear it anymore they got their stuff together as fast as they could and they got the hell away from there while it was still daylight and they didn't see anything on their way out and they said that had to be a dog, man. Thank you. Oh.